Welcome home, everybody. Wookie Legend here. We're back again on the How To for Beginner Cruiser Edition. Uh, we're going to be playing the Italian Monte Cuccioli. Monte Cuccioli. I like to call it macaroni. This is just a lot easier for me. Um, it's got 152s. They're pretty close together, which makes the accuracy a little bit better. Um, it does come with torpedoes. Only two on each side, which uh, isn't that great. It does have secondaries, four turrets, which is fantastic because it's two, four, six, eight guns. Um, you kind of want to play it like uh, the Emil Bertan. You want to be pretty close to max range. You're there to support. You're there to flank. It comes with a few other gimmicks, though. Fast moving smoke, which means you can go full speed and still smoke up. Just know that there's still a penalty out of smoke. It's a lot less than without smoke. So if there's something close to you, Make sure not to fire within that range of the penalty. And I'll show you guys that in the game. Uh, let's make sure to actually upgrade this. What are we doing? Okay. Remember, you can go to your modules and sell this and get half back. Right? You'll get half back. But you're still going to get credits for something that you don't use anymore. Um, pretty much the same layout. Actually, the same layout. We have a fighter. We can go spotter. Actually, you know what? We'll go spotter. Because we're going to be max range anyway. Maybe we'll be able to use it. We'll see. Uh, here, though, we have uh, Sap. So this is the first time I'm kind of talking about Sap, which is semi-armor piercing. Um, it's not HE, so there's no fires. And it's not AP, so it's not a like a big penetration, right? Because this, this does 3,000 per shell. This does 3,800 per shell, right? So it's kind of interesting. I mean, if you read the effects, effects against lightly armored targets... They'll deal, they'll deal a lot more damage. So you are going to get damage. Now, armor will bounce the shot or completely nullify it. So you're not going to get all the damage all the time. But for anything that's lightly armored, you will crush it. Especially destroyers. You crush destroyers with Italian cruisers. With sap. Remember, if something's broadside, they'll just go AP and just citadel it. Uh, it does have torpedoes. 10 kilometer though ones. Uh, two per side, so it's nothing crazy. Plus, they're really slow. 51 knots, you're pretty much out, out walking them if you come out, or out swimming them if you come out and start swimming. Um, okay, and then we have dev charges. So, pretty simple. Let's go to exterior. Always make sure to have um, camo. Doesn't matter which one, but make sure to have camo. We do want speed, and we want to make sure we're not going to get detonated. Other than that, we're pretty good there. Let's go to our captain. And uh, rotate the guns again, because the guns are 152s, and they rotate every 26 seconds for a 180, right? On the meal, it was uh, 15 seconds for the 180, so big difference there. Big difference. Um, I went with uh, priority target, so you can see who's watching you. Now, I could have done that with the meal too. Most likely, you should with most cruisers, so you can actually see how many people are looking at you, so you can see how fast you're going to die. <laughs> Uh, they do recommend survivability expert. I went with it this time You're not gonna get too much health. I mean, it's 450 per tier. This is tier 5. So 450 times 5 bingo bongo It might save you one extra shot before you die We'll find out. Uh, I might actually change it and get uh, one more smoke one more smoke out of it M Most likely that's kind of the best way to do it. This was just an experiment for me for you, just follow along. But look, even this Wargaming recommends it, right? These little things Wargaming recommends, that doesn't mean you have to. Uh, and I went with Concealment. Concealment is 10.1. The meal was 11. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, try to get a good game. The meal wasn't uh, successful, but we had a team that wasn't successful. Funny little push, and it put us into a losing position. Uh, the enemy team, all they had to do was wait. We came to them instead of them coming to us. We personally were prepared. Uh, we got four kills that game, but, you know, it it happens. It happens. You're not going to get all wins, and that's okay. That's okay. As long as you improve, hopefully everyone else improves, and then you'll have a lot more success. Uh, but it is kind of uh, upsetting, right? Especially if it's a nonstop losing uh, streak. It, it, and that does happen. Uh, I personally, if I'm not streaming, five losses in a row, and I'm playing another game. Um, it's always good to regroup and reset, and then come back, and hopefully your luck changed. You know, but uh, yeah, 
There's, there's, there's little coping mechanisms for everyone. Or you could just lose 20 in a row. I have had people do that too. <laughs> it's uh it's not it's not great. I think I lost 10 in a row or maybe even more than that on stream, but when you're streaming, you gotta keep going, man. Alright. We are bottom tier again. So hopefully this time our team doesn't just YOLO in there. We do have a CV though against this. Uh and a lot more DDs. Well, two more now. Uh the cruisers are still something we're gonna deal with, and then there's the battleships. We'll see how we do. It all comes down to flank and uh, support. So, one cap again. You know what that means. F-line. We're not going to exceed it yet. So even if you go secure this area uh, from the enemy, we're going to come back. And we're going to extend our way through the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around here. So we can shoot into here. Uh, most likely our team is going to go this way. Not a good idea. Just come back here, kill it. Or come around here. Kill this area and then come back this way to secure this area and then secure this area. Okay, there's multiple ways they can get into our cap. There's multiple ways we can get into their cap. Time will tell. And uh, here we go. We're going to go sap. Most likely, whatever we see is going to be either a DD or a cruiser. Ooh. Ooh, man. Excuse me. All the cruisers are light cruisers. So we're going to crush them with sap. Um,. The battleships also, if we see any of these, uh, we'll just go top deck and uh, try to get as much damage as possible. Actually, someone's actually testing the ship. Uh oh. And we're going to see how that, how we do against that. It's a bit of a um, Daka Daka ship, so. Can we actually get a shot over there? No, can't. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get ready for kiting. Just dumb torps, because you never know. Please don't go on the outside. We need you on the inside. We know where the DD is. Okay, well, we asked him to come spot. And he's going alone. So... Well, this is going to be a bit of a struggle because uh, their destroyer is now spotting us and we have no counter. Luckily, there's a CV actually playing the CV role. We just need to make better shots here. Better shots. I don't know why this guy is pushing, but he is. We have a really fast reload, by the way. Uh, it's 55 seconds, as you can see. Oh, and look at the damage. Five hits, because the guns are quite accurate. 5,800. He's not liking that. Now, our Mahan is pushing the little opening. There really wasn't need for it. All we needed him to do is to come to us. Because if he goes in front of that cruiser, he's dead. And most likely that's what he's going to do. Uh, this guy's not paying attention to the minimap. Quite unfortunate, because we need him to. Uh, okay, so the cruiser is in smoke, the DD is in smoke. Our DD is now going to YOLO them, which is unfortunate. And then uh, hopefully he doesn't die and we get some kills here. We're going to just wait. We have a lot of ships here. So we're just going to wait. We're in no harm. If torps do come out, we'll just go. But we are not in danger. This guy's in danger. Keep dumping torps. Didn't make that shot. Strange. Okay. We need him then. It's a lot of Italian. Idea. Alright. Yeah, he's just yoloing in. Did he get the torps out? I'm very surprised on how they're letting him live. Very surprised. But, dead nonetheless. We could have actually used him. We didn't need that YOLO play. Regardless, he did our team uh, enough service. Just kind of strange how he didn't bother to help us first. He just helped himself. 
But things got done. Sometimes the the weirdest things work just out of nowhere. And, uh, well, their team actually made a bigger mistake by just both of them smoking up. They didn't see the DD come through. Also, the CV didn't spot for them. So it's, uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, he got he even got a compliment by the by the cruiser. Crazy things. You see it and you're like, why is this happening? It's not gonna work. But then again, there it goes, and it worked. Now we're gonna go help out our team, because our team is now facing the entirety of their team. Or what the rest of their team is. This guy's gonna die, and then our team's gonna keep pushing, but we don't need to push because there's no one over there. We can see the minimap. On the minimap, there's just him. The rest of them start from pretty much the five line and on. So repositioning is key right now. Key. We're up to, what, 17,000 damage? It's not bad. Not the best, but it's early on. We've had very few interactions here. So we're going to get into a more centralized position. So if they're just going to maintain... Or if our guys are going to maintain them there, we're going to go centralize and possibly get to a better, um, better shot position where we can still move around because the middle still doesn't have too many islands, just one. So we can move around freely, and that's what we kind of need to do with the Italian uh, cruisers. They're not a sit there and shoot. The only reason we sat there and shot because there's literally nothing shooting us. So we, when you can try. Just don't get too comfortable because that shot can come out of nowhere and you're just stationary. You you will end up eating damage. So, guys, and I was down. His actually best bet was to go forward and torp that Jazade, but he didn't. Yeah, Macaroni is an interesting boat. Um, most of the Italians are interesting. When you get to the higher tier, the Brindisi and the Venezia are just monsters, especially with the Sap. Going up the line, though, you're going to run into a few ships that aren't the best. They're kind of difficult to play. Just because the ships you're playing against are maybe a little bit better situational-wise. It does also come down to teamwork. It always does. Everything's teamwork. Um, if you guys haven't noticed in most of my videos, I'm trying to explain to you guys how teamwork is what's going to get you the win. And we're not getting wins every game. I'm not showing you guys a video where... I'm so good, and I'm going to show you a win. No, I'm showing you reality. You guys are going to get some reality Reality where you're not going to get the best team, and if you don't get the best team, you, you, you're not going to have a good game. You might get all the kills, well, obviously minus one, and still lose because teams like to just push forward thinking that they're, they're going to win extra hard. Sometimes it's just good to sit back and, and just take the win. Um, so... When you're winning and you're map aware that you're winning, just wait. Trust me, they'll come to you because they know they're losing. Or they're semi-aware that they're losing. So they will come to you. By you pushing, remember what I said. They're already positioned to defend. They're behind the islands. They're ready. You have to come. You have to go to them and go around that corner broadside, right? You have to go and get ambushed. It's difficult. Very difficult to survive things like that. Sap's not working for us here. He's lightly armored, but Sap's not working. So we're going to go AP. He is broadside. We should be probably getting more damage with AP if we even have a chance. I think we're fastly approaching this island. Yeah, a thousand's not going to do it. Oh, and he's almost dead. We're going to get one more shot? No. All right, we're going to get ready. Uh, also, CVs at this tier are also lightly armored, so Sap will work on them. I don't know if he'll bounce off the deck, though, but let's find out. This is actually AP. They're going to bounce off the deck? So it's possible. Yeah, three of them bounce. You see how they hit and up? Yeah, it's very common. Oh, smoke. And we go dark because our detection is 5.5. So anything within 5.5 within will detect us from firing. He's at 8. Watch this. See how we're in smoke? He can't detect us. Full speed. Let's just dump some torps here. Gotta get as much on him as possible. We have five more seconds on smoke. Hopefully he's firing at someone. There you go. But when we come out of smoke, we're not um, detected. 
We're gonna go back to sap. Gotta go for that upper area where we just shot. The 600 from AP isn't good enough. We wanna kill him fast, not slow. You don't gain experience by slowly killing someone. You gain experience by percentage-wise. So the more percentage you take off of his health, the more experience you get from him. The higher the tier he is, the more experience you get from him. So if he's your tier, you're gonna get, let's say, 10 experience. If he's one tier higher, you're gonna get potentially 15. Don't quote me on exactly how much, but I'm trying to give you guys an example on the fact that you're gonna get more experience. If he's two tiers higher than you, because everyone likes to complain about people being two tiers higher than you, you're gonna get 20 experience, right? Might not be double, but you're gonna get more experience. I'm just trying to explain that to you guys. So when you're shooting the ships that are two tiers higher than you, you're gonna get that much more experience by doing damage to them. When you're shooting the ships that are the same tier as you, let's say this guy, I'm gonna get X amount of damage, right? So keep that in mind when you are bottom tier. If you're playing support role, or let's say you're thinking, oh man, I can't do it. Like they're, they're, they're just too strong. I won't be able to, okay? Well, then focus on the ones that are higher tier than you. Get that experience, but still help your team out. Because when you do win, you're going to notice a lot more commander XP, a lot more XP, free XP, credits, right? You're going to get a lot more of everything. Plus the win. The win really helps you gain more. So that's why the win should be priority for everyone. I don't know why it, I think a lot of players fall into the whole, I'm doing a mission, so the mission has to get done first. Okay? You can finish the mission while winning, too. So, you can also finish the mission by playing as a team. Yeah, it might be you need 10 kills, okay? Well, you're not going to get 10 kills in one game, okay? That's very hard to do. So, make sure to try to win and get two kills per game. Five games, you're done. Make one game, uh, one kill per game. Ten games, you're done. But you're also gaining things while you're playing those games, right? You're not gaining that much from one mission. So just remember, you can always try to win by helping your team. The missions should not be priority. You should have them on and know that they're there, but they, they shouldn't be your main focus. Plus, when you focus on missions, most of the time you don't complete them. You'll complete them a lot faster if you don't focus them. It's kind of funny that way, but uh, I've experienced that. I've shared that with a lot of people on my channel. And uh, it's fact. Once you hyper-focus on something and you're trying to complete it, it usually never works. So try to just avoid the mission. Turn it on, right? Know that it's there, but avoid it when you're in the match. So you don't have to worry about... Um, you don't have to worry about uh, focusing on it and trying to because you're just not going to. It, it'll, it'll just drive you nuts. Because you're like, oh, I would have had that kill, but that other guy... Got it, and then then it's in your head, and you're you're just having a bad day. Who cares? They get the kill, great, we're winning. Oh, they got the fire. Who cares? We're winning, right? Think of it that way. So, max range. At this point, we have them in the corner. Uh, that's why we pushed past the F line. Remember, there's always a time and a place when you do push. These guys were folding right off the bat. Oops, I don't need to be on the border. The CVs go after me for I don't know what reason. There's plenty of other stuff that he can be going after, but. He's going after me. That's fine. Let's go sap on him. We can kill him. That's great. Can't. Ranger drops me way too soon. I don't think he understands how it works. There you go. He's dead. Big deal that I didn't get it. The whole point is that we're winning. That is the whole point. Hardest thing in this game is to win. Most important thing in this game is to obviously have fun, but winning makes that a lot better. Plus, if you're trying to progress in the game, get other ships, and do missions, uh, it definitely makes it a lot, a lot easier when you're winning. When you're losing, it's very hard to progress anything. And there you go. The macaroni at its best. Flank. Sap when you can, AP when you can, hit that smoke so you're not getting crushed, right? And then um, help your team out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye from me.